Top of the morning to everybody. Okay, the purpose of this capture is to show you the new Microsoft Remote Desktop application. Before we had this, the remote desktop connection with the little computer and satellite dish. When you opened it up, you'd get a window that looked like this. And then we could come up and, and pick a recent connection and choose which one we want and it would connect. Now, it's completely different and it's kind of nice. And it looks more like this. What's different about it is, instead of the connections being in a list up in the menu, they're right here in this window. And all I have to do is double click on one, and it connects. It seems a lot faster, and we're ready to go. Now, it doesn't connect full screen like it used to. Um, if you go up to the window and hit full screen, it will do full screen just like this. And then your bar can come down. Um, there's also a different full screen, and this will do it as well, where it kind of slides everything out of the way and does full screen app as in Mac full screen app. Um, this is kind of nice. You can't see my other screens, though, so I can't really show you the hindrance that it has. But basically what happens is I get this full screen just like this, but on my other screens, I get this. And I can't do anything else. I have no, no other apps that I can do while I'm doing remote desktop with this. This is the Mac OS X version of full screen apps. Um, but I can remove it by going up here and just clicking this right here. And it's done. And then if I go window scaling, it will scale according to whatever size I need. Now, I don't want this open. I'm going to show you um, some of the features that this has. If you go to edit, you can see the information that I have for this particular setup. I can change the resolution. Native is whatever the computer chooses to do. Um, but I can say, oh, okay, I want it to be 1600 by 900 or whatever. Um, I can do different color scheme or different color qualities. 8-bit um, is obviously fastest, 32-bit is the slowest, but it works. Full screen mode, I can go OS 10 native or custom. The OS 10 native is the one that you just saw where it blanks out all the screens. Custom is what I choose. Um, you can start the session in full screen and you can use all the monitors if you want. Um, in fact, let's try that. Let's see how it works. I'm not sure that it will work. Oh, then if you go to session, you can choose to play the sound on this computer or on a remote PC or don't play the sound at all. You can connect to a console session. Um, you can forward the printing devices and you can swap mouse buttons. And I, I never do that. It's just silly. And then folder redirection is when you want to do um, different paths and things to share folders. Okay, let's open this up. Now see how it goes full screen? But it does not use my other monitors. The native resolution is 1680 by 1050 because that's the native resolution of this monitor. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the the new remote desktop app so that you can see it get a feel for it. I encourage you to download it and mess with it. It's kind of fun. I like having the list here rather than having to go up into the menu and pick the new ones or whatever I need. Preferences. You can pick the native resolution right there. You can also do gateways. I don't really know what they do, um, so I don't use them. And remote resources are when you are controlling a remote desktop through the internet. I don't have any of those. And if you hit new, you'll get all this information here. You can adjust it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.